Welcome back plant tribe to plants, pots, and whatnots. If you are new here, my name is Nikki. This is my channel, if that wasn't obvious. Um, so <clears throat> today we are, I got tagged in a tag video by the wonderful, the gorgeous, the beautiful Julie Nicole. And she created this tag called the Juicy Plant Tuber Tag. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're gonna go ahead, I've got some leaves to clean here, so I'm gonna go ahead and clean some leaves and uh, my lovely and uh, gorgeous assistant Jordan is going to ask me the questions while Yay. I clean the leaves. Yay, Jordan! <laughs> okay, so if that sounds like something you wanna watch, go ahead and stick around and uh, watch me awkwardly answer questions that I maybe don't wanna answer, but I will. Cause you're welcome, Julie. <laughs> we'll be right back. three plants here that I'm going to clean leaves of today. The first one is my gorgeous, lovely, five fenestrated Thai constellation. I also have my little, actually it's Jordan's. Maybe I should make Jordan clean this plant. Jordan's not going for the camera today. <laughs> um, the um, Alocasia stingray. And then I also have my variegated Syngonium, which is just off camera here. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna, I think those three plants should be sufficient enough whilst I am answering these questions. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Lovely assistant. Question the first. Question number one, please. What are the three most expensive plants you own? What were the prices and any regrets? Oh, well, <laughs> um, I have definitely spent a bit on some plants. Now, I know that some people are like, don't spend a crazy ton on plants, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. I don't have any other things that I spend money on. I don't buy shoes. I think I own like three pairs, like flip flops, running shoes, dress shoes for work. <laughs> That's it. Um, I don't spend money on anything else. And so, in my opinion, if I want to save $500 and spend it on a plant, that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I have done. So the most that I have spent on a plant is just shy of $500, which sounds insane. And it kind of is. But, again, I've put away, I've saved. Um... I knew that I wanted this particular plant. You may be able to see it. <laughs> and um, yeah, so if I wanna spend some, some money on a plant, then you know I'm an adult and I can figure out how to save and um, I can do that. So I think that that probably was my most expensive plant. Um, I have, I do have some other plants that were you know, on the pricier side. But again, that's my jam. So, yeah. That was a very awkward question to answer. Uncomfortable! And no regrets? <laughs> uh, regrets. I don't, no, I, I don't have any, um, especially on the plants that I have spent any sort of substantial amount on, I don't have any regrets on any of those plants. Um, I'm not going to drop a substantial amount on a plant that I haven't, um, you know, wanted for a while or I didn't, I was like, eh, like I don't, like I'm not that crazy. <laughs> like I'm crazy, don't get me wrong, but I'm not like that crazy, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, no, I have no regrets on any of the larger plant purchases that I have made. Do I have regrets about some of the smaller plant purchases I've made? Hells yeah. Yeah, I have. Like any Peperomia that I've ever purchased, with the exception of like my Peperomia Prostrata and maybe my watermelon. Even that one causes me stress. So, anyway. I'm not gonna go on a hateful rant about Peperomia today. But I could. But I won't. So we'll move on to the second question then. Second question. <laughs> what is the most you would spend on a plant? Oh, 
<laughs> I think I think that plant is probably the most that I would spend on a plant. Um, I know there's people that spend a thousand dollars on a plant. That that to me and in my budget, I mean we are fortunate in that we both have really good jobs um, that pay well. But I mean we also have children. <laughs> we have a house that we have to pay for. We have children that we have to feed occasionally. So, you know, I, uh, I, I definitely think that I think $500 and that is few and far between like once a year, maybe sort of scenario. Um, would I ever spend that much money on a singular plant? And like I said, even then it would have to be a plant that I really, really wanted. I've done the research and it's really worth it. That would be like, that would be like my top. Okay, that's this plant done. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this back where it belongs and I'll be right back to answer some more questions. Okay, moving on. Lovely assistant. Number three, has your plant collection ever caused issues in your relationships? If yes, please explain. My relationships with my husband? Uh, no, actually, he is extremely supportive. He even helps me buy them. Isn't True. he lovely? <laughs> um, and no, I'm not just saying that because he's sitting right here. I'm really not. Um, he is extremely supportive of my hobby. Um, he has said on numerous occasions, you could have far worse hobbies. It's true. And uh, I don't, this is it. I love plants. I love collecting more uncommon varieties. I like the challenge of growing them and um, you know, I'm not gonna stop. So he's, he's good about it and he's just accepted that this is this is the jungle that we live in. See? Jungle? Yeah. yeah. It's really becoming that. <laughs> but it's nice. That's, uh, We're winning color. at the game of Jumanji. We're so not far, losing. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's for sure. Okay, next question. All right. Uh, has, number four, has owning plants interfered with your travel plans? Uh, okay, so that one actually... Uh, so... If you've been around a while, you know that we have a trailer. So we have a 31 foot um, travel trailer. What do you call yeah, it? Like a travel trailer. trailer? Like a bunkhouse sort of deal that we bought, oh, three years ago? No. Oh, um, this June will be two years. Oh, yeah, okay. So almost two years ago. And so that does become a little. Um, um, inconvenient at times now we don't normally take it away for too too long I think we've gone away the longest we've gone away with it is four days and you know you know as a plant owner as long as you um, do all your watering that you need to do and have everything set up while you're gone four days isn't that much we don't travel other than that um, so we haven't run into a problem now we've discussed you know, going on vacations and things like that. And in that regard, I'm honestly not really sure what I would do. Um, if I had a bunch of more common plants that weren't very particular, I think I probably wouldn't worry as much. But I think that if I, for any reason, decide that we are going to go away um, for like a week, if we go down south or something like that, I would probably have to um, get one of my friends or hire someone that knows about plants to come in and and look after them so it hasn't caused a problem yet but you know we haven't really crossed that bridge yet so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it okay next question have you killed a plant intentionally have i killed a plant intentionally uh no not really um I have had some plants that I have struggled with pests with, especially last year I had this god awful, um, the thrift infestation of 2019. <laughs> um, and so after trying quite a few times to get rid of um, the thrips on a couple of plants, um, I had finally had enough. I, I won't give up on a plant easily, but these ones I had struggled with for quite some time. And I finally got to the point where I'm like, yo, <laughs> I'm just not doing it anymore because it's making me crazy. So I put them out on my back porch and that's where they stayed. That's where a few of them still are. <laughs> so 
So that's something I'll have to deal with once it gets a little warmer, but um, I've never intentionally like killed a plant. I've unintentionally killed a plant by pouring um, water with chemical fertilizer on top of the leaves. Don't do that. So you really haven't intentionally killed one, but we've intentionally finished them off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess if you want to put a phrase to it. Or yeah. Kind of it. yeah. Okay, next question. What is the most stressful part about owning plants? Um, I think it'd be the upkeep because it's constant. I, and I, don't, I don't know if that's stressful. I don't find the upkeep stressful, actually. I find the upkeep on the plants very relaxing and rewarding. I think the part that stresses me out the most is the, the pest situation. Yeah, I have yeah, a lot of works. time. I have a lot of money invested in my collection and it would be like somebody who collects plates to have an entire class of preschool children run into your home and then have like a volleyball game or a dodgeball game. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> it's, it's scary. So, I mean, and especially with going through what we went through last year with the thrips, um, that was horrible horrible i was constantly paranoid that some of my you know bigger ticket plants and that kind of thing were going to succumb to these and I, it was really like i haven't really gotten out of it yet but it, like i got to the point where every day uh in the morning i would wake up and i would literally go around and check almost every single plant in my collection um you know and just make sure that nothing new had happened. And I mean, you definitely should check your plants frequently anyways, um, but it was to the point where it was like almost obsessive and I'm not quite as bad now. I still do check them, but not quite as like regimented. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably the biggest thing is the, is the stress of potentially getting pests and especially ones that you can't seem to get rid of because there are some that are really difficult uh, to get rid of. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. Other than that, I mean, the watering doesn't stress me out. I enjoy it. I find it very zen. And uh, especially knowing that, you know, you're caring for these things and you're the reason why they're, they're thriving and that's a good feeling. So I think that's about it. Okay, and this plant is done. So I'm going to set this one aside. She looks so lovely and shiny. Mm-hmm. Is it your plant, lovely and shiny? Sure is. Thanks, babe. <laughs> okay. And the last one. Look, this is also something that's kind of stressful. This guy just opened. That's stressful. <laughs> okay. Next. We are on number seven. Number seven. If you were only allowed to have three plants in your collection, which ones would they be? Good oh, luck. That's not fair. I don't think that's... I don't even think you could answer that. I don't, yeah, see, he already knows. Um, that's really, really difficult. Um, I mean, I have plants that have been given to me that are sentimentally special to me that, you know, I could never fathom getting rid of. Um, and I think the longer a plant is with you, the more it, you know, the more things that you go through with that plant um, you know, the more care that you provide it and put into it, the more you become attached to that plant. It's like, it's like, it'd be like getting rid of a pet that you have like nurtured and cared for forever. Speaking of which, Eli, come sit over here. Go lie down before you knock something over. Good boy. Um, <laughs> What's the question? If you can only have three plants in your collection. Oh, right. I can't believe Holy squirrel memory today. Um, so I think, I don't even know if I can answer that question because all of my plants, most of them just mean a lot to me and I can't imagine getting rid of any of them. So pass. sorry. <laughs> sorry if that's a lame answer for that question, but I'm going to have to take a hard pass on that one. Just too much work and too much. Yeah. You know, it's just too much has gone into them to you know say, well, I only take three. I mean, there's I obviously ones that you lean more towards than others, but 
they've all done so well. So I mean, yeah, it, it, you really couldn't. It's hard. That's a hard one, Julie. That's me. <laughs> uh, number eight. What's your opinion on the rare plant hype? <clears throat> My opinion on the rare plant hype. <clears throat> it's actually a good question and one I'm sure that a lot of people would like to hear from me. I know if I was somebody else looking at my collection because I do have a lot of rare plants. Um, I don't buy plants because they're rare. I buy plants because I really like them. For an example, the Raven's Easy. I don't get it. Um, at one point there, they were going for like upwards of $100. I don't even really like the ZZ that I have. <laughs> I can't imagine a black one that would cost more and stress me out more would make that better. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I don't get it. So on the rare plant thing, um, I think that if you really want a plant, regardless of its rarity, then you should buy it. But also at the same time, be reasonable about what you can spend on that plant. The chances are really good that within six to eight months, maybe less, maybe more, that plant is gonna significantly drop in price. Again, like the Raven's Easy, I see some around here now for like 20, 25 bucks. So it's relative, you know? So just spend within your means and don't buy plants just because just because they're, they're popular and they're rare and you're like, ooh, that's the it plant, who cares? Buy what you like. And that's that. That's, that. that's my opinion on that. Number nine. Have you ever purchased a plant just because it was trending and you don't like it that much? No. I kind of think I answered that one already. Maybe yeah. I mushed two questions into one. But yeah, that's like, again, same with that the whole ZZ Raven thing. I just... It's super trendy. It still is rather trendy. But fortunately, for people who do like it, the, the price is coming down. Um... Again, no, I buy plants because I like them, not because they're trendy. Okay, we got a couple more questions left, so I'll just stand here. Okay. Number 10, do you think having a plant collection is bad for the environment? Now, when I first heard this question before Julie answered it, I was like, bad for the environment? How is that bad for the environment? Um, and kind of the way that Julie put it is, as far as shipping plants and stuff, they do come with a lot of packaging and that kind of thing. Um, do I think that the plant collecting hobby as a whole is bad for the environment? No. I mean, a lot of us are, you know, um, cognizant of the fact that these packing materials that we do order plants on, if we, if you're somebody that orders them online and has them shipped to you, you know, we're cognizant that those plants come with a lot of stuff. Um, most of us will reuse them, properly recycle them, um, and, and that kind of thing. So. You know, and also the places that I have received packages from mostly use things that are very easily reused or recycled. Um, for example, the guys from House of Monstera, most of their packaging, actually I think almost all of their packaging is just paper. Um, so a lot of that stuff, especially in the spring and summer, we'll set aside and we'll take up to the trailer for when we have campfires, for starting campfires and that kind of thing. So, I mean, we're not, you know, sending tons and tons of packing material into you know, landfills and that kind of thing. So. I'd say like probably about 95%, if not higher, of the uh, materials that we get is recyclable and everything that's recyclable, we recycle. So yeah. It's not, I don't know, I can't, I don't picture much going to the landfill, if anything. A lot of it gets reused, like you said, or just simply recycled and we're, you know, we're hardcore on that. So. We are hardcore recyclers. Okay. Number 10. So, the last question How much would someone have to pay you to kill your favorite plant? We'd have to be financially set for the rest of our lives. I think would be the minimum. <laughs> well, okay. So, the first problem that I have with this question is how do you pick a favorite plant? I don't even know if I could do that. I honestly don't think I could pick a favorite plant. I don't have a favorite. Um, there are so many plants that I absolutely love. So that'd be the first problem with that is I don't know if I could pick one. And then <laughs> for somebody to destroy the plant, I mean, 
you'd, you'd not get that sentimental part back, that attachment that you have to the plant. I mean, I would have to like shut my emotions off to pull like a, what movie is that from? That's from like, uh, what's that one with, you know, the Bella Swan and Edward vampire movie? Twilight. Twilight. Yeah, couldn't they just like shut off their emotions? Oh no, that was from Vampire Diaries. I yeah, I watched that. Anyway, um, yeah, so I'd have to like turn my emotions off because I think it would actually break my heart to see any of them destroyed. And then I would have to have at least the money to replace it and then some. Like, it, most of my prints are priceless. I can't even answer that because Julie, no, no, what kind no. of question is that? <laughs> Eli, come on. Go around. Go around. Why? Oh, he can't. The box is there. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, so those questions were stressful. Far more stressful than actually caring for plants or pests. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's nothing. There's nothing scarier and more stressful than dealing with pests on your precious, expensive babies. <laughs> Okay, guys, this is a really cool tag. Thank you so much, Julie, for tagging me this. It was super fun. I'm going to go ahead and tag two people. Um, and anybody else who wants to do this, who happens to watch it, um, please go ahead and consider yourself tagged. Um, who do I want to tag? The first person I want to tag is Steph Hall, um, because I'm really curious to hear what your answers for this one are, Steph. And who's the second person I want to tag? Let me see. Hmm... Okay, so the second person that I'm going to tag is Alessia from Alessia's Leaves. Um, I've never tagged Alessia in something before that I can recall. So girl, tag your it. Steph, tag your it. I want you guys to do the juicy plant tuber tag. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Okay, so thank you guys all so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and do so. It is a huge help and I really do appreciate it. Today's plant tribe comment comes from Sylvie. Sylvie, I am so glad to see that you're enjoying Marfell and is doing wonders for your plants. And the fact that you had to go out of your country to get it is even more amazing. Thank you so much. I am glad you're loving it. Um, so yeah, I love you guys all to bitty bits. Have a great day, night, week, month, year, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah!